All right, so most of you are aware that I run an online film school called Full-Time Filmmaker that teaches people how to improve video skills and build video production businesses. Well, I've been running this online film school for three years now, and in that time, over 7,000 students from around the world have joined, which anyone that can do math can see that we've made millions of dollars with this online course business model. And as a byproduct, I've been able to help hundreds of my students go full-time with video. So seeing the great response to this online school, I knew we were onto something big, but I didn't realize how big until I learned from the CEO of a site that hosts tens of thousands of online courses that full-time filmmaker is in the top 1% of all revenue generating courses. So apparently whatever we're doing to succeed, 99% of other course creators haven't figured this out yet. So about a year ago, my brother Dakota and I decided to build a new course called Course Creator Pro that teaches people how to create, market, and sell online courses so that anyone with a valuable skill or piece of knowledge can learn how to reach millions of people sharing their wealth of knowledge with the world and in return, make a six to seven figure income doing so. And I'm excited to announce that after a year of scripting, shooting, and editing over 60 tutorials today, we are officially launching Course Creator Pro, revealing our exact blueprint of how I built, marketed, and advertised full-time filmmaker so that any of you can quickly implement the same strategies into building your own online course. Disclaimer though, building an online course isn't a get rich quick scheme. It takes a lot of hard work. It took me nine months on top of working as a freelance filmmaker to pay my bills to build full-time filmmaker to the point that I could even launch it and then another couple of years after that constantly adding to it and improving it before it was generating seven figures a year so just be aware it does take a lot of hard work but the payoff if done correctly can be huge we live in the information age where there are many great supplementary and alternative options to traditional higher education YouTube obviously being the most popular free resource out there and a pretty good one at that the only problem is you often have to swim through an endless sea of average or below average information before you find something that is somewhat informative. So online courses are quickly becoming one of the fastest growing industries as there's a high demand for information that is higher quality than YouTube, but much less expensive than universities. And according to market research firm Global Industry Analysts, they projected the e-learning industry to reach $107 billion by 2015, and it did. And they're projecting that to triple to over $300 billion by the year 2025. So needless to say, people are starving for high quality education at an affordable price. So if you have valuable skills to share with the world, you could take a slice of that $200 billion growth. So I now want to give you guys a quick overview of my online course business model, show you how it works and how I've been able to scale it to a seven figure a year business so that you can learn what it takes to become a course creator pro. Now, one of the keys to scaling any business is automation. Using multiple softwares that I'll talk about in a second, I've been able to almost fully automate my business so that it runs itself once the course is built. And this automated system that I use is what marketers call a sales funnel. A sales funnel is basically a system you build that takes people who've never heard of you or your product, often referred to as cold leads, and through a series of steps, you warm them up to your product and lead them through a funnel to eventually buy your product. So here's a look at a typical week inside the full-time filmmaker sales funnel. There are billions of people buzzing around on social media just waiting for my annoying yet relevant ad to pop up in their feed. And on average, as of the making of this video, I spend seven thousand dollars a week in Facebook and Instagram advertising dollars and with that amount of money my ads will be shown to approximately 1.5 million people's social media feeds of those 1.5 million people that see my ad on average only about 15,000 or 1% actually click on the ad and once they click it takes them to a landing page where they can sign up for a free one-hour training teaching my top 10 secrets to cinematic videos and approximately 4,000 or 30% actually go through the process of signing up for that webinar and of those 4,000 thousand people who sign up for the webinar, a little over half actually show up for and watch the webinar. Then of those approximately 2,500 people that watch the webinar, only about 300 or around 10% actually click on that offer to join the paid course. And when they click on the offer, it takes them to my sales page where they can then buy the course. And of those 300 people that clicked on the offer, about a third of them actually go through with making the purchase, which comes out to be around four to five percent of the people who watch the webinar actually take the offer for at the end and buy the full course. Then of course, once people buy, you have to actually have a good product that lives up to what you said it would be. My refund rate for full-time filmmaker is around 5%, which means 95% of the people who buy end up loving it. So obviously the last step to your sales funnel is to have a great product that retains your customers. Now my product sells for $800, but factoring in monthly payment plans and other things, on average, I make a little over $500 per sale. Times that by 110 sales and I make around $50,000 a 
dollars a week. Now, I don't share all these numbers to gloat about how much money I'm making. I honestly don't feel very comfortable sharing them in the first place, but I do it to be completely transparent so that you can see exactly how you could replicate this same business model and find similar success. But if you divide that total revenue by the amount of money I put into advertising, you see that for every $1 I spend on advertising, I get about $8 back in course sales. That is called your ROI or return on investment. My ROI being eight to one, which is a lot higher than most people's ROIs, but that's because I'm doing a lot of things better than other businesses. And that's exactly why we built this new course is to show you what we are doing that the other 99% aren't that is making us more successful. So I now want to walk you through some of those things I'm doing differently by breaking down the five categories that we teach inside Course Creator Pro. The first thing that I've done that makes full-time filmmakers stand out from many other courses and what we teach in the first section of this course is how to build a strong product. One of the biggest questions I get is, how do you know if you have a good enough idea for an online course? The answer is to do market research. You first need to find out if there's a demand for your product and what do people want in that product in order for them to buy it. And one of the biggest key indicators that will tell you if there is a demand or not is if you are getting a lot of people regularly asking you questions about how you do something that you're good at. That's how I knew I should build full-time filmmaker is I was getting hundreds of DMs from people wanting to know how I made my videos. So I knew there was a demand for my knowledge and that it was a good idea to start building a course. But then how does one actually build a course? Here was my process. To make sure that this course that I was going to build would actually meet the needs of my potential customers, I first took all those hundreds of questions I was getting, wrote them all down, then organized them into categories, and then organized those categories chronologically so that someone who knew nothing about filmmaking would be able to start at the beginning of the course and learn everything they need to know about how to do video full time. I then took this curriculum outline and began scripting answers to each of those questions. I eventually wrote over a hundred pages of scripted answers and then took that hundred page script and began filming and editing dozens of videos into what is now over 200 total videos, but at the time of launching was more around 40 videos. And inside Course Creator Pro, we show you the full creative process of how to structure a curriculum, tips for scripting videos, how to brand, how to film and edit engaging tutorials, how to screen record, etc., so that you can know how to create a solid product that will actually fill the needs of your students. Now, at this point, I often get asked, so how much is it going to cost me to build this online course? I would plan on spending one to $2,000 in camera and audio gear and editing software, assuming, of course, that you don't own that already. If you do, then there's really not much startup cost. It's mostly going to cost you in time. For me, it took about nine months to build out those first 40 videos for full-time filmmaker to get it to the point where I could launch, but that was while working a full-time job and just creating the course on the side. So it could definitely be done in a month or two if you have more time available and or the size of your course content is a lot smaller. But this is why a lot of practicing professionals and experts don't build courses is because it's hard work. But again, for those willing to put in the work, the payoff can potentially be huge for you and for your knowledge hungry audience. Now, once you have your course material made, a question I get asked a lot is, what softwares do you use to host your course and to build this automated system? I personally use and recommend Teachable to host my online course, which does all the payment processing for you and hosts all the videos. Then I use Squarespace to host my website, EverWebinar to host my webinars, MailChimp to do my email marketing, and Zapier to link all those softwares together. Now, I won't go into too much detail here as to why I use certain softwares and how to use them. We cover how to set up the automated system in the second section of this course, but in order to run this automated system, it will cost you around $200 a month in recurring software fees. But if you market and advertise the course well, that will be a very small price to pay for the amount of money it will make you. And as your course grows to be as big as mine, I'm paying around $1,500 a month in recurring software fees because the cost goes up as your traffic and revenue grow. Now, once you have your course built and hosted, how do you actually convert interested leads into paying members? This is the part that most course creators really struggle with, is the marketing. And I found one of the best ways to market an online course is to use automated webinars. Webinars are basically like a free trial where you can share a bunch of information for a full hour and then at the end, give people a link to join the full program if they want to learn more beyond that one hour. And in the third section of the course, we walk you through how to structure a successful webinar, how to technically set it all up using EverWebinar. And we also talk about other marketing principles like how to price your course, how to pitch a product, how to write and set up automated email funnels, and how to effectively launch a course and how to know when it's even ready to launch. But once you have a great webinar set up, how do you 
start generating traffic to get people to actually watch that webinar. I've found that the best way to generate traffic is through paid Facebook and Instagram ads. Now, I will admit, learning how to run effective Facebook ad campaigns was like learning a new language. I'm not gonna lie, this part is hard. But in the fourth section of this course, we've greatly simplified this process so that anyone willing to follow instructions can start their own successful Facebook ad campaign. We also provide a template to our best performing Facebook ads and show you the full process of how to set it up and how to scale it over time. I've literally spent half a million dollars on Facebook ads over the past three years and tens of thousands of those dollars was wasted from trial and error. So the knowledge in this section alone will save people thousands of dollars from not having to learn from their own mistakes. And I often get asked, well, how much money do I have to have saved up to run Facebook ads? When I first started, I started out at just $10 a day. And within about $200 of ad spend, I was already making back more than I was spending. So you really don't have to have that much money set aside, maybe a few hundred dollars before you start making more than you're spending. And once you see that your few hundred dollars is profitable, Profitable, then you can start scaling it to thousands of dollars. Then in the final section of the course, I teach other business tactics like how to do weekly reporting to measure progress and continue growing and scaling your business. I go over SEO strategies for organic content creation and show you how I built my YouTube and Instagram followings. And I will continue to add to this section as I continue to learn new things about scaling my business so that as I grow, you grow with me. In summary, build a strong product that meets the needs of your students, build an automated system using some great softwares, build a strong webinar that provides loads of value, build a strong ad campaign that generates leads, and continue scaling that business over time by measuring your progress, consistently creating new content, and continually improving each level of your sales funnel. And that is how I've been able to make seven figures a year selling online courses. Probably not quite as easy as you were hoping, and I know it may seem a little daunting to realize that there is some money and time investment involved, but compared to most startup businesses, this is a super low risk business opportunity. And you're probably telling yourself right now, this sounds great and all, but I'm not qualified enough to be teaching other people how to do something. You guys, this is how I feel every single day. I know there's people out there who know more than me about certain topics, and I learn from them every day, but there's a much bigger pool of people who know less than me who are starving for my knowledge. So as long as there's a big enough pool of people who know less than you, then stop self-doubting and start sharing what you do know. And if you know nothing at all, then go find an expert and pitch them the idea of creating a course for them and splitting the revenue. There's so many people out there that have so much great wisdom to share with the world, but simply don't know how to get it out there or don't have the time to do so. So that's our whole goal with Course Creator Pro is to empower as many people as we can to become Course Creator Pros. But there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how my business model works. If you want to learn more, you can head over to CourseCreatorPro.com or click over here for my free one hour training where I'll talk about more in depth what we talked about in this video, teaching you my 10 secrets to selling online courses. Also, don't worry, I'm still going to be creating filmmaking content. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been up to for the past year and take this time to announce this exciting launch of a course that hopefully helps thousands of you create your own online courses. But that's it, guys. If you have any further questions, please let me know.